us over the last 14 years, since you've been in the business for 14 years, what's the five-year you know, revenue growth rate, CAGR, or a 10-year uh, revenue growth rate for the power business? Because this appears to be a steady state business. Yeah, so uh, telecom is a uh, matured industry, and yeah. uh, if you see the Crystal Report, uh, the growth rate for the products line that we are in are forecasted at... Uh, no, about, historical. Your historical growth rate has been? Uh, the historical uh, growth rate also has been uh, between uh, 8 and uh, 10%. Okay. And uh, even as per, uh, for, for future, the growth rate forecasted by Crystal for our products line is between 8% to 14%, uh, depending which product line you look at. Okay. Uh, I mean, since we spoke about one exceptional year uh, as far as the year of semiconductor shortage is concerned, the first half of FI24 has also been exceptional on a year-on-year -year basis <laughs> in the sense because you've nearly doubled your revenues in this period. Uh, taking the point that Rima put to you uh, forward, 100% uh, growth in revenue in the first half. Uh, there's a contraction in revenue seen in the previous financial year. Uh, what is the number in terms of a sustainable revenue growth which investors should expect? If not a number, then a range that, that you see yourself growing, at least for the future course of years. So uh, FY, uh, the first year in FI24 has been uh, uh, good for us. Uh, so yeah, the semiconductor issue reversed and, and I think at least uh, for generally I feel that has passed uh, us. But not just that, there has been uh, investment, uh, continued investment in 5G CapEx and telecom sector. There has been large uh, government programs uh, to build telecom infrastructure to, con uh, to connect uncovered village or border village uh, where uh, we are beneficiary of certain component of that business, especially to do with power infrastructure. Uh, there has been continuous adoption of lithium ion batteries uh, by all telcos and tower companies. And on the EV charger side, uh, the, the industry continues to grow. The number of vehicle sales in uh, electric vehicles has almost doubled compared to last year, which mm -hmm. obviously has a direct impact uh, on, on the EV chargers. All these factors put together has led to the growth in uh, FY24. Uh, as far as the future uh, you know, is, is concerned, uh, the industry growth rate, which is estimated by Crystal, is uh, about 50% uh, uh, you know, for... Uh, uh, EV chargers and uh, about uh, eight to ten percent for uh, telecom. Uh, okay. So uh, that that uh, so about thirty thirty five percent on a. Uh, I I can't comment on uh, uh, our uh, growth, but uh, uh, our, we we have business plan and we are investing in uh, future. Uh, you know, with capacities, with investments in products and R and D to uh, achieve our growth plans.